This week, what some have long predicted came true as huge waves uprooted and washed away great chunks of track and brought parts of the seawall crashing down. Over the next six weeks, work is to be carried out on this precarious section of a vital rail line that connects Devon and Cornwall to the rest of the UK. Will this just be a sticking plaster or is the answer now to move the line inland? Transport Secretary Patrick McLaughlin has said he will conduct a rigorous review of alternative rail routes to the southwest of England. Some warn it will take too long and prove too expensive to reroute this coastal section of the railway line, built by Isambard Kingdom Brunel in Victorian times. Robin Jesby, Managing Director of Network Operations at Network Rail says there needs to be a longer-term look at the line however, something many rail experts are calling for. One of the solutions could involve taking a step back in time and reinstating the old Tavistock line. Until 1968, following cuts approved by Chairman of the British Transport Commission Richard Beeching, it was possible to travel from Exeter to Plymouth via R.K. Hampton and Tavistock on a double-tracked line. Part of it still runs as the Dartmoor Railway, which runs special services on weekends, bank holidays and school holidays. Halted by Hitler. Another possibility could involve rerouting trains along the former Tain Valley branch line, which ran inland from Exeter before adjoining the main line at Newton Abbott. Substantial work would be needed to restore the line, which closed in 1958. Alternatively, rail chiefs could revisit a scheme to build an entirely new route which Hitler inadvertently put paid to. Sim Harris, managing editor of industry newspaper Rail News, explained that rerouting the line along an existing route would be highly feasible, but trains would have to change direction at Exeter and Plymouth, causing delays. There is another solution which would have been ideal if Hitler had not got in the way, said Mr. Harris. Before the last war, the Great Western Railway bought some land, inland, between Newton Abbott and Exeter, which would have been splendid. But before they could actually do the work, war broke out. As it was nationalized after the war, the land was sold off again. So if it hadn't been for Hitler, we would have had that route but that's history and that's how it happened. He suggests revisiting that scheme by buying a strip of land and building a new double-track railway. The Dalish line could then be kept as a single track serving coastal communities, but mainline services would run on the new line. If you close it completely, you're losing a piece of glorious railway, and places like Tamith and Dalish would lose their local service, he added. Transport infrastructure expert John Disney of Nottingham Business School said Dalish was an accident waiting to happen. It was entirely predictable that at some time the sea was going to win the Battle of Dalish and sweep away Brunel's coastline railway, he said. It is amazing that it has lasted until 2014, due mainly to Network Rail's excellent infrastructure maintenance regime. Looking to the future he said that reopening and modernizing the inland line through R.K. Hampton should be considered. Five-year project. Dr. Disney said, long-term serious consideration must now be given to reopening an alternative inland railway line through Devon Close during the Beeching era. While local campaigners have been fighting for this restoration for some time, there has been little Westminster support but the tide may now be turning. Dr. Disney estimated rerouting would take five years. Using existing track would be an obvious solution, but upgrading work would have to be carried out, he added. When we look at current rail projects, it's not inconceivable, he said. It wouldn't be anything like as difficult as the Crosses Rail project in London and wouldn't be controversial like HS2. Too important. Transport commentator Christian Wilmar said, I think it's time to build a new railway and ultimately this will be clear. I suspect the best thing is to reroute the train line through Tavistock and keep a single line through Dawlish. 
this is likely to happen again, we're getting one in a hundred year storms every year. Of course they have to repair it this time but it's too important to link for Cornwall. If this was the main line to Guildford, it would have been done a long time ago. Speculating on the figures involved, he added, if this is going to cost a pound 50 meters to fix, you might as well spend a pound 250 meters on building new track. In the long run, it will save money. In 2011 when creating an alternative line was mooted, then Environment Minister Lord Henley suggested it would cost a pound 100 meters. He rejected this as being far too expensive. However, Holiday Trade, Richard Clinic, assistant editor at Rail Magazine, said, It's a situation now where this is something that seriously, seriously needs to be looked at. We could have another situation like the one we have at the moment, where Devon and Cornwall is cut off. There has been talk of doing away with the Dawlish line, but you can do that. The line that is currently severed covers Dawlish and Tainmouth, and importantly, it also covers Tarquay and Paynton, which are huge for the holiday trade. With so many experts having apparently foreseen Dawlish's fate, the government will know it has some tough decisions to make about its future. In the meantime, rail engineers will try to get trains moving again while businesses in the region see millions of pounds of income disappear each day and rail travelers face ongoing disruption.